I've always loved glass and I've always collected Lalique from 1970 onwards. And so working with a company that's so famous and does so many beautiful objects is always very exciting. And I've watched Lalique go from being very traditional to incorporating the traditional with the modern, which I really love. And this process excited me because it's a marriage of the past and the present. And so it's been an absolute pleasure to do this. It enthralls me because I so love glass and I so love Lalique that being part of this for me is very exciting because I'm a fan. Well, I love angels and um, I believe there are angels, um, human and non-human. Um, and the marriage of the, um, the ring on the finger and the musician, the musical instrument, is perfect. It's a, it's a sign of peace. And I think in the world that we live in today, a sign of peace is a necessary thing. We live in a mad world at the moment. And if this can make people think a little bit about peace and love and harmonious living through a beautiful object of glass, then we will have done a good job. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful piece of glass than the, the big angel. I mean, it's phenomenal. To be associated with that, to have had a hand in it, is a very rewarding experience. It's breathtaking. But the actual big piece itself is a work of art, and uh, whoever gets it, whoever buys it, will have a piece that will last for centuries and will get better every day as a piece of art. It's phenomenal. Well, the heart symbolizes love too. We all have beating hearts, and I prefer to have a beating heart full of love rather than one full of ignorance and hate. And for me, the heart has always been about love, and it's synonymous with the angel. Um, people with big hearts, kind people. Uh, I've met so many people in my life who have enormous hearts, um, most of them who are not famous whatsoever, but for example, look after the sick on a 24-hour basis and tend to the elderly, um, and who devote their life to others. And I think the heart is a symbol of that. It's a symbol of love. And it's obvious that the angel and the heart are two things that go very well together. Something artistic together with the message of the AIDS Foundation, which is, you know, share the love and try and heal as many people and educate as many people about the disease of AIDS as possible. Uh, it's a combination of bringing two big forces together. And if people can go into a department store and buy a piece of glass like this and, and remember where the money is going to, they have no idea how much good it will do. You only have to go to Africa and see how far your money goes or to Eastern Europe or to India and see that your money can keep someone alive for a whole two or three years. And it's quite, sounds ridiculous, but it's true. We are a very, very prestigious AIDS Foundation. Uh, we've been there for a long time now. There's not many of us left, but what we do is respected throughout the world. And for people who come into a store and buy a piece of Lalique that benefits the Elton John AIDS Foundation, they are doing so much good. And I thank you all in advance for doing that. If you buy something in Lalique, it's quality. It always has been, and it's moving with the times, and I love that. Um, but for me, it's the artisans who created the glass in the first place, the designs, and the lasting beauty of the glass. I think glass is a much underappreciated art form. That's why I collect it, I love it very much. And Lalique to me presents, it's the Rolls Royce of glass. If you have a piece of Lalique, it's a beautiful gift to receive. And I still get very excited to see what they do on a yearly basis. I buy quite a lot of it myself. And I love the fact that they're moving with the times and reinterpreting the old Lalique with the new. That for me is so great. That makes it very, very exciting and very, very, stimulating as an artist myself, as an oral artist who makes music, the visual arts of glass inspires me when I write a song or when I play the piano because every day I get up and I'm surrounded by glass and a lot of leak and it subconsciously inspires me to, to do better things, I think.